Hello everyone, welcome back to Hot Line Topics. What do we know about the Yoruba Nollywood former child star Aziz Ijadwa, the popularly known as Ola, owing to his role in Gen Sime. His full name is Ijadwa De Olola De Aziz, who was born into the family of Mr. and Mrs. Wahid Ijadwa De. He attended Adil Nazar Primary School at Shadje Abekuta in Ogun State. He later went to Baptist Boys High School, also in Shadje. Abiyokuta. Then he furthered his education at Moshud Abiola Polytechnic, also in Abiyokuta in Ogun State. Aziz Ijadwade's father is a veteran Yoruba actor. His name is Wahid Ijadwade, better known as Dimeji. He joined the industry in the year 1975. He has produced and co-produced movies like Otaolon, Itara Eda, Okoyife, Ireshi, Abegilere, Ebute, Unjolua, Eleshe, Sumibare, and so many others. His son Ola told the part this talented, prolific actor took. But contrary to the belief of men, Wahid Ijadwade also disclosed that, that he actually never introduced his son, Afiz Ijadwade, into the business. He was actually not the one that discovered him before he became a child star. He was just a natural talkative. He has always been bold enough to ask questions right from when he was three years old. There was a day that his father got a call from one of his friends, Alasari, who said that he wanted to feature his son in a movie which was sponsored by Sefiu Alawu. Alasari told his father that he performed excellently well in that movie, and that was it. And that was the beginning of Afiz Ijadwade's career. So his first movie was in the year 1992. Aside his acting, what else does he do? He also produced and directs movies professionally. Moving direct into Afiz Ijadwade is the main part of movie making. How many movies does he have in his name as a director? He has directed a lot of movies, including Dark Emotions, Send Off, Iriati Anu, Ashamejila, Supremacy, Ebimini, Dayomo, and Me, among others. So what other career path would he have chosen if he was not an actor? Well, he would have been a songwriter or a banker because that was what he studied in school. So does this young man feel the pressure by social media validation as an actor and a celebrity? No, he was not brought up in that manner of seeking validation from people. There is nothing compared to one being contented. And exactly did he hit the limelight? He hit the limelight when he played the role of Ola in the hugely popular 1994 classic movie, Jen Simi. Alongside his father, Wahidi Jadwade and Ebu Oloyede, who is popularly called Olaya Igwe. Now he's all grown up and produces movies of his own as well. What age did he join the industry? He was seven years old when he became a sensation to men with how emotionally he got people involved in his roles. He garnered many fans of home videos when he became popular for his role as Ola and he also played a major role in Iroeshi. So let's talk about his personal life. Is Afiz Ijadwade, is he married, is he dating, is he engaged? Well, what we gathered is that he has two beautiful daughters. Who is their mother? Well, presently, there is no information about their mother yet. But we are going to update you whenever information comes up. So how does this actor feel when people compare Nollywood movies to Hollywood or Bollywood movies? According to this young man, people need to understand that we are not of the same culture and our ways of making movies is different as well. So it's not nice when people do that. So does he aspire to be in Hollywood movies in the future and also Bollywood movies? Yes, he would love to be in those movies. He did like to walk all over the world and make impact, not just in Hollywood, but in the world at large. Afiz Ijadwade loves sharing his pictures and videos on social media platforms. To see some of his pictures on social media.
you have come to the end of this episode on Afiz Ijodwa, the popularly known as Ola from the role he played in Jen Simi. We hope you enjoyed this episode and like one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.